loves, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today's video is going to be on this double wing cut crease look. I'm not entirely sure what to call it, but I love the way that it turned out. Now this look was inspired by an Instagrammer that I follow. Her name is Val Fam. I think that's her Instagram handle, but I'll have her information in the description bar below. Anyway guys, I really hope you all enjoy this look. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you were not subscribed already. So let's get started. So as always, I'm going to start by priming my eyes with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn. I'm going to blend that out with a brush and then set it with my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. And just make sure you're taking that concealer all the way up to underneath your brow so that it blends in seamlessly with the concealer that you use to clean up your brows. And then I'm going to set this with my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder and I'm just going to take that on an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. So to start off, I'm going in with the Saharan 2 palette from Juvia's Place. I'm going to be picking up the Taza color on a Morphe E27 brush. I'm going to blend this all through my crease and my transition area. Next, I'm going in with the Fess color from that same palette on a Morphe E36 brush, and I'm going to outline my crease. I'm going to place my crease line slightly higher than my natural crease so that it's still visible even when I'm looking straight ahead. And then I'm going to go back into that Morphe E27 brush and just blend that line out and into the transition color. And I'm also dragging that color out towards the tail of my brow bone. I'm sort of swooping it up a little bit, but it's not super necessary. Next, I'm going to go in with the Zora color on a Morphe E37 brush. I'm going to use this to outline my crease even more, and I'm going to place that crease line slightly higher than my natural crease. Then I'm going to go in with a Morphe M506 brush and I'm going to use that to blend out this color and blend it into the other colors that I placed in my crease. And I'm just sort of flicking it out towards the tail of my brow bone once it's been blended out. Next I'm going to go in with the black color from the Saharan palette. This is the Chad color and I'm going to use it to further outline my crease. And then I'm going to use a Morphe E36 brush to buff out that line. Now it's time to carve out my lid. I'm going to be going in with that same LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color font, and I'm going to take that on a flat brush. With another flat brush, I'm going to lightly set my lid with the Aziza color from the Saharan 2 palette. And I'm going to do a little bit of graphic liner detailing. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. gel liner in black. I'm also going to take an e.l.f. eyeliner brush. So that's pretty much the outline. You want to try to get it as precise as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to go ahead and clean this up um, once we get closer to the end. The most important thing is that you're leaving a gap right in the space right here. All right, so now that we have sort of the outline, I'm going to go in with my Morphe E37 brush and the black color from the Saharan palette, but that's the Chad color. And I'm going to place it right in this opening right here. Next, I'm going to go in with the best color just to lighten up that black a little bit. And I'm just dragging this in the lid above this wing that we've created. Next, I'm going to go in with the Zora color. I'm basically going to be using all the colors I used in my crease for this portion. And I'm using the same brush, I'm just wiping it between steps. And I'm just making sure to blend it so that it creates a really nice gradient. And then I'm going to go in with the Taza color, and I'm going to drag that further into the lid. in with the flat brush that I used to apply the lid color to just blend everything together. Now I'm going in with some gold liquid eyeliner. Um, this is just going to be the base for the glitter and I'm going to fill in that negative space that I left blank where the wing liner is. So 
So now I'm going to go in with my NYX Multitasker Mixing Medium, another super small detail brush, and some gold glitter. And I'm going to pack that all over the gold liner that we laid down. And if you don't have glitter or you just don't like working with glitter, you can definitely just use a liquid glitter eyeliner and that might make things a little bit easier. So I went ahead and cleaned up the black liner. I made it a little bit more defined and now I'm going to move on to my lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with the Chad color from the First Saharan palette on a Morphe M326 brush and I'm going to smudge that on my lower lash line. And I'm dragging that shadow down instead of up towards my inner eye corner to create a new and wider inner eye corner. Then I'm going to go in with a Morphe E36 brush and I'm going to pick up that Dora color and I'm also going to smoke out my lower lash line. And then with a Morphe E19 brush I'm going to pop a little bit of the Zoya color from the First Saharan palette in my new inner eye corner. For some added sparkle, I'm going to go in with my fave, the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Rose Gold. And I'm going to take that on that same Morphe E19 brush and I'm going to place that right in my inner eye corner. For mascara, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Mascara for my top and bottom lashes. And you just want to make sure that you're covering as much of the glitter that fell on your lashes as possible. So sometimes that means you have to paint down on the lashes. For lashes, I'm going to go in with the Coco Lashes in the Queen Bee Style. I'm going to highlight my brow bone using the Zoya color from the First Saharan Palette on a Morphe E19 brush. Alright, so the eyes are done. I'm now going to move back to my face. I'm going to start by touching up my foundation with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the color 450. And I'm going to blend that out with an e.l.f. powder brush. To highlight and conceal my face, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toffee. I've really been loving the Toffee color as sort of my concealer and highlight color lately. And then I'm going to blend this out with a damp beauty sponge. Look at that nose snatchage just from concealer. When you bring the concealer down the sides of your nose, like a little bit forward, it, it kind of creates a contour with like your skin color and your foundation. It's like reverse contour. To contour my face, I'm going to go in with my Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum in the color Hot Cocoa. And I'm just going to place this in the hollows of my cheekbones along my jawline and around the perimeter of my face. And I'm going to blend this out with a Real Techniques contour brush. To set the contoured areas of my face, I'm going to go in with my City Color Bold Brow Powder and I'm going to take that on the same Real Techniques contour brush. And to set the highlighted areas of my face, I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder and I'm going to take that on a damp beauty sponge. I'm just going to dust off the excess powder. And now I'm going to buff my face with my Black Radiant Self Focus Finishing Powder in Milk Chocolate. I'm going to take that on another e.l.f. powder brush. And I'm just going to push my brush into the powder, pack it onto the face gently, and then very lightly buff everything together. To add some warmth back into my face, I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer and I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush. And I'm going to bronze around my cheekbones and around the perimeter of my face. For highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Artist Couture and Jackie Haina collaboration. This is the color La Peach and I'm going to take that on an e.l.f. highlighting brush. 
I'm going to highlight down the bridge of my nose using a Morphe E19 brush and that same highlighter. And I'm going to take a little bit of that on my brow bone as well. All right, home stretch for lips. I'm first going to line my lips with the Talia Deluxe Lip Liner in the color brown. And then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Raw Chocolate. And then I'm going to top it off with the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Praline. I almost forgot about blush, but for blush I'm going to go into the Saharan Blush Volume 1. I'm going to take the orange Toby color on my cheeks. And that's pretty much the look, guys. I'm just going to set my face with my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Fix my hair up, and I'll be right back. All right, my loves, this is the final look. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And please remember to subscribe if you were not subscribed already. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have an amazing day.